Now the latest on the horrific death of 13 year old Nicole Lovell tonight. Family and friends honored the life of this teen potentially lured to her death on social media. The accused are two Virginia Tech students, 18 year old David Eisenhower and 19 year old Natalie Keepers. They're both charged after allegedly plotting how to kill Nicole. The teen's last known message on social media was reportedly to an account registered to Eisenhower. Brittany McDonald is in Blacksburg tonight, a community still very much in mourning. Hundreds gathered here tonight to remember Nicole Lovell, a 13 year old girl who was taken much too soon. Blue was a common theme here tonight with these ribbons handed out and the lights behind me along College Avenue lit just for her. As I stand here tonight, my family and I are broken. My daughter Coley lit up our lives. 13 year old Nicole Lovell's mother fought back tears as she thanked the community for their support and spoke about her slain daughter. I miss her smile. I miss her laugh, her voice. I miss her hugs and kisses. Oh God, I miss you, Coley. She was the last of several speakers who addressed a large crowd gathered along College Avenue in Nicole's honor, her principal. We remember Nicole as a sweet girl who had a beauty that shined from within. The police chief. We take her name and we build something so positive that evil can never penetrate it. All coming out with candles lit even as the temperatures dropped and the snow began to fall. Posters were held high, a hymn sung with passion. And mournful heads bowed for a moment of silence. I was sad at first, but I'm still am, but I'm more angry now. Natalie Cole was one in the crowd with a special tie to Nicole. We had an emotion where we knew we were going to be best friends. Best friends since the day the two 13-year-olds met a year ago. Cole still has trouble believing her kindred spirit is gone. At first, I didn't believe it. I thought it was a dream, but when I found out it was reality, I started crying. Organizer Claire Kelling of the community group Woman Space hopes Monday night's vigil sets the stage for a much brighter future. If we can um, do something like this to maybe have one less parent get that news, then that's, that's what my goal is here. The vigil is over tonight. The candles were blown out, but Nicole's family is just hoping that her legacy lives on. On your side in Blacksburg, Brittany McDonald, NBC 12.